Hello everyone. Welcome to our series of making full movie app by using Flutter with TMDB API. So far, we have created a large app bar in which we are showing the list of the movies. Now I want a user selectable button so that user can switch either he or she want to see the uh, trending movie of the day or trending movie of the week. So for implementing another one, I am gonna create a new variable same as above. There's nothing different. The only difference is the URL which we parse and I have created a new variable uval uh, which will help me determine whether it is a trending movie of the day or trending movie of the week. Ok so let implement the uh, selectable, uh, selectable icon which is a drop down menu. I am creating a small container and I am decorating a little bit a little bit of padding and inside the child I have made a drop down button so I will be using that uval value and on change property we will uh, define it later so this drop down button will have value of the uval which I have defined by default as 1 So far we are seeing the small uh, drop down icon. In the item we have to define the number of element which is drop down menu item. In which the first item I have defined is as a text of weekly and given it the value 1. Similarly, for the second drop down menu item, I have given child text daily and value of 2. From here, I can control it. Perfect. As you can see, uh, the value is not being changed when user select it. It's because we haven't write anything in the on change property. Uh, before writing some code in onchange property let us make it even more beautiful this is just optional now for the onchange property whenever the user uh, try to change the drop down menu value then we are going to call a set state which will reload our UI in this app bar, the all movie and TV series data are inside the trending list variable which we have updated by using the above chooser function in our previous video. So first of all on change property, we should clear that variable. It means we should remove everything movie and TV data from the trending list variable so it's empty. And after it, we have to update the uval variable to the selected drop down menu value. For an example, for a weekly trending, the UL will be 1 and for the daily trending, when user select the daily, the UL will be updated to value 2. It is successfully updating but as you can see, uh, the movie and TV series are same so uh, I think it's not working. You can see I have assigned a weekly as in value 1 and daily as in value 2. I have also updated the value but the problem is every time the movie and series data inside the trending list variable is same. We have to do a slight modification in the future function in our future function. If you well uh, if value is one then we should call the trending uh, weekly URL a uh, weekly trending URL 
and if the value is 2 then we should call up trending day url inside this if block i can paste the code which will update the trending list variable with the weekly trending movies and series In the else if block, I can write if you well equal equal to, and I have to shift the below code, which will update the trending list variable with the daily trending movie and series. You can easily shift it and put it inside the else if block. Okay, now it will update the trending list, our main variable of type map string and dynamic Okay, I think now it's looking good. Daily trending shows the Wakanda forever, baby long, the last of us. <coughs> and on changing to weekly. It's a different type of movies and series, so I think we have done it correctly. So far, we have successfully completed our app bar part. Below our app bar, you can see we need three more tab. For that, we have to define the tab controller. We need the three separate tab so that we have given the length of 3 to our tab controller to use the tab controller we have to do a slight addition in our home page state by writing with ticker provider state mixing so that's it now we can modify our body part inside this lever list we can define a container of height 45 Inside the child, we have defined the tab bar and the tab. The tab can accept our list of widgets which need the controller. So we have defined controller to our tab bar or tab controller. You can see the road valid value range is empty or zero. If we change our length to 0, then the error will go. When we change our length to 3, it expects the uh, 3 list of widget in the tab. You can see the tab accept the children, so it is expecting the uh, 3 children. Uh, before defining our 3 children, let us slightly modify something and make it look our tab bar a little beautiful you can see i have successfully provided the three widget inside the tab now again below it, we need the selected content. So I'm gonna define a container. Inside the child of container, we define the tab bar view. It also expect the same number of widget which we have given in our tab or in our above length. It also need the controller 
and inside the children it also need the uh, three widget so for tv series i have defined tv series widget for the movies i have defined movie widget and for the upcoming i have defined the upcoming widget when we select the tv series it will call the tv series widget when we select movie it will call the movie widget and similar for the upcoming so our tv series movie and upcoming widget are undefined uh, we have to start let me create one separate folder for each tv series movies and upcoming so that the file structure will remain pretty i have created a new folder section base inside it i am gonna create tv series dot dot uh, movies dot dot and upcoming dot dot In movie dot dot, I am gonna create a stateful widget. Name it the movies. Similarly for the TV series dot dot, I am gonna create a stateful widget and name it as TV series. Whenever in our home page, when someone click the TV series movies or upcoming, it will call uh, this three widget which I have just created. So we have to import all these three file. First of all, we are gonna importing movies dot dot. Then we will import TV series dot dot. Then we will import upcoming dot dot. Perfect. Uh, let me quickly create a body of center and inside the child I'll add text of TV series so that we can see either it's working or not. I'm gonna copy it and paste the same for the movies and upcoming. I'd only edit the text. Okay, it's throwing some error. I think Okay, we haven't given the height of the container. It is simply calling the three widget and the three widget also doesn't have any height because I have written a scaffold in all of these three. So I have to define a height of the container. Returning scaffold is unnecessary here because the home page already contain a scaffold. Uh, that's not necessary. Okay, as you can see, the text is being showing at the center. So, this is it for the part 
two of our series also you can visit the link in the description i have given the github link in the description from which you can download all the source code 